Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Trevor Sahaki. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. A Saginaw Township man arrested in the death of his wife faces an open murder charge. Lonnie Smith was arraigned Friday in Saginaw after his arrest early Thursday at a home in Flint. The body of his wife, Shantina Davenport Mitchell, was found in the couple's home on Lamplighter Drive during a wellness check Wednesday afternoon. Investigators have not said how she died. Smith remains jailed without bond. We're learning more about a crash involving multiple vehicles in Genesee County. This scene was in front of a BP gas station at Corona and Tacken Thursday night, right on the line between Flint and Flint Township. State police say a 56-year-old Flint man was traveling eastbound of Corona when he left the road and collided with a telephone pole and another vehicle. Investigators suspect he may have had a medical episode prior to the crash. He wasn't wearing a seatbelt and remains in critical condition. It's a tale of seven squirrels tied together by their tails. Police in Grand Blanc Township say they found the squirrels at the base of a tree on Russell Street. They apparently became entangled in their nest, which could no longer hold them. Officers and a resident were able to separate the animals. This is what one looked like afterwards. They will need some time for their tails to fully heal and fill back in, but officials say they are all safe and sound. Now here's Chris with a look at your forecast. Uh, the Trevor should be a nice warm day. We've got middle to upper 70s later this afternoon. Some sunshine this morning will certainly help us get there. And temperatures as we start the day already in the 50s and 60s in many areas. Your first one, five pinpoint Doppler radar live from MBS is dry around the TV5 viewing area as well. But clouds will be on the increase late this morning and into the afternoon. So some sun this morning will transition to partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies later today. Your first one, five sky tracker shows a cold front to the west that will eventually move across across the region as we go into the next 24 hours. So a mostly cloudy sky this afternoon eventually brings some scattered showers later on tonight. I would expect the coverage of those showers to be pretty spotty at first. So if you have outdoor plans this evening while rain is possible, it may not be for everybody. So you'll have a chance to get your plans in depending on where you are. Shower chances only increase going through the day tomorrow though, and they'll be pretty widespread at times. No severe weather is expected, but some downpours will be possible. So rainfall totals between a half inch to an inch will be possible in some locations around a quarter of an inch in areas to the north and east. Your first one five seven day forecast shows lots of shower chances into next week. Won't be raining the entire time, but a chance just about every day. Remember to tune into WNEM TV five on air and online 24 seven for the latest news, weather and information.